One thing that people ask us this time of year is what's an easy way to make student award certificates? Uh, back in the day, I used to go buy certificate paper and <laughs> labor over trying to get everything just right on my Microsoft Works um, document. And, and you just don't have to do that anymore. There's a lot of great templates that you can use and then iterate, meaning you can take the same template and just change like the student names as you go through. So I made a quick collection for you on Wakelet, and I'll include that description or that link in the description for you that's got um, some different resources, anything from Slides Mania, Slides Go, even just one that's uh, for already created that's a Google slide template and a couple videos to help. There is a website here that I used to like a lot called Certificate Magic, but it's a little bit more complicated than it used to be, uh, but just something for you to check out. By far, my favorite tool for doing this, though, is Canva. And Canva is just phenomenal because of all the templates that they have. And if you watched my template video before um, from our last e-learning day, you maybe saw me using Canva and talking about it. So the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure you have your education account set up in Canva because there's a um, in the premium version, which you get free as being an educator, there's some benefits to it. And I'll, like I said, in the link or in the description, I'll put the link to how to join Canva Educator. Um, so once I'm in Canva, like if I'm just here on my home page, I look up at the top for templates, I go over to education, and then you'll see certificates. So the first thing you can do is you can favorite certificates that you like. This is the kind of thing that you can do at home. When you've got a cup of coffee in the evening, you can just sit and be like, oh, this is really cute. I had an astronomy theme this year. Um, this works really well. Oh, look at this one. I like the colors on this one. That's very nice. And you can just favorite some that you like. Oh, this one's really cute. A little pencil and all that kind of stuff. So once you've got things liked or um, uh, favorited, then you can go back and use them. And all these are templates. So let's say I'm going to select this template. It's going to give me information about the creator of the design, um, color scheme, all that kind of stuff like that. And I can say, use this template. So here I'm going to do, it gives me just a plain certificate. Uh, I need to change this a little bit because I need to get my name in there. I don't want to have the fake name that comes in there. So I'll change it to uh, Beth Richter. There we go. And I'll put my title in there so you could, you know, put fourth grade teacher, seventh grade math, whatever you'd like. You can, if you have a co-teacher, maybe you have a student teacher, maybe you want to put your principal's name here. I'll put Colleen, my colleague. Same thing, you can change her title. You get the idea here. Oh, don't spell things wrong. It will tell you, which is nice. And yes, the font is really small, so it's hard to tell. There we go. All right, so you get the idea. So this is where you can customize it in any way. Maybe I want my certificate to be um, for hard work or for um, a specific subject area. Or maybe I want it to be just generic like it was and keep it at achievement or improvement or certificate of progress. Right down here, I can go in and I can click and edit the student's name. I'll use my favorite, Susie Cream Cheese. Now, if it changes your alignment, you're like, oh, I don't like that. You can just go up here and then change the font size until it fits in that, you know, horizontal alignment, just like you had before. You can change this message for whatever it's for. So here's the crazy part. Here's where it gets so easy about the iteration. Instead of adding just a blank page up here, I'm going to duplicate this page. So now all I need to do is go in and change the student's name and I can change if there's a, you know, different, you know, reason that they got an award. So if it's for, maybe it's a certificate instead of for achievement, maybe it's a certificate of progress. Okay. The last thing that needs to happen is in order to print these, you need to download them. So once you have your design all done and you can keep adding page after page after page, and remember, you don't want to add a blank page. You want to do that duplicate because it'll keep all your settings and your name over on the side. I'm going to download my design. And then it's going to bring it down here on the bottom of my computer. So this is some place where people get a little bit stuck. Because there are multiple pages and they're all pictures, um, they're what's called zip files. 
So I have to extract these zip files. Not a big deal. I just click extract and then it's going to pop up a new window. So if I go right from here, if I just select both of these pages and you might have, you know, 20 pages, I can go right up here under share and I can print them. It'll give me nice options. Make sure you're not printing back to back so you don't have to waste any more um, uh, pages or anything like that. And then look, here's your certificates right here. Okay, so this is a really easy way for you to do this. Um, I love Canva. Uh, you can also share. So if you have somebody on your team and you're like, oh, I found this template and I really liked um, this template. And they're like, well, I want to use the same one. You can, um, when you select the template, you know, like when you're favoriting it, look right here, it has a share option. So you can click that and get a link and share with them. Again, Canva, wonderful tool, great way to go. But if you'd like to keep it simple, you could do something in Google Drawing, Google Slides. There's so much stuff here and I'll put the link to this resource for you. All right, I hope you've had a great May so far and uh, get out there and make some certificates for your kids.